Alright guys, so welcome to section number 3, how to fill up the cube lug register uh, before casting concrete. Right. And number 1, reasons why you need cube lug register. There's a lot of reason why. And number 2, step by step how to fill up cube lug register. Uh, this is before uh, pouring concrete. And number three, you can download the Kubelog register as a bonus. This one is uh, the cube register I used in my previous uh, project. Although we did a presentation about uh, how to make a Kubelog register or a compressive strength log, uh, you can still download this uh, Kubelog register as a bonus. And if you don't want to uh, do it yourself, yeah, you can use this, All right? So let's go. Filling up of your cube lug register is you know, easy, but uh, of course, if you know how, it is important to have a cube lug register or a compressive string lug for many reasons. Number one, you can, you know, easily, you know, easily track uh, the test schedules and you can identify uh, what is the next ID number of your cubes. And three, you can have a traceability, you know, because there is the uh, grid lines, uh, the location of the concrete element, yeah, and the date, uh, date of pouring, uh, you can, there is traceability. It's important uh, if there is traceability. I'm going to give you why we need traceability because sometimes uh, concrete cube fails you know, and during uh, uh, in the test reports. So, uh, how are you going to trace that? You know? We have we have to uh, resolve that, you know. And even if you take course, you know, where you get uh, where where you get your uh, course, you know, concrete course, you know, for for testing, you, know? mm, you cannot uh, find it. You cannot conduct a core without this. Uh, <clears throat> location and that you'll find that in your uh, uh, cube lag register and then you can determine what cubes ID to to recent to the laboratory for testing yeah that is important the cube ID and, and so here is how you will fill up your concrete cube lag register and uh, first you have to get the reference number of the inspection request you know we have the inspection request for shuttering you know shuttering of uh, shuttering means uh, formwork also shuttering of um, slab shuttering of column shuttering of beam uh, shuttering of parapet column parapet uh, wall Sure walls, whatever, whatever uh, kinds of elements that uh, you have for work, right? So, so now, um, yeah, then you'll place that on the first column of the lug. Okay, let's let's go to the lug. I'm gonna show you how to uh, to fill the to the lug. All right, so let's go. Let's. It's in this. Now here, let's again uh, before <clears throat> before the section we discuss about you know, organizing. So you will go to the folder you made and go to the IR. And then what we're gonna take first is the uh, location of the uh, concrete element. Yeah that uh, we're gonna pour concrete yeah. 
they cannot cast concrete. Let's say, for example, this inspection. Uh, former for slab to proceed with still enforcement you know, at block B at uh, 10th floor. All right. So this one we're going to take. Just remember this number, 1125. That is the number of your inspection request. And let's open that. Right, you know, yeah, this one here, and then remember that we have IR number 1125. Yeah, what we're gonna do is go back to our to our lug. All right, you've made the lug right. So here, yeah. You know where your lug is, yeah? You just made the folder. You come here, and I'll show you here. Test reports in your folder, go inside, then lug, yeah? Here, you see? So that's how organized we are. All right, so I opened that already. So let's go here. Now remember that we have uh, IR number 1125, right? So you may want to write that, 1125, IR number, make it center, right? And then structure, what is structure? Uh, it is slab, right? You may want to write there, description. Um, you can just simply copy that, it's very easy, this one here, yeah. copy from here, slab in staircase to proceed, block B, yeah, like that, copy, and then you go back to your log, and you can adjust this one a little bit, this one here and paste and you can wrap the text oh, why there is no wrap wrap here bam that's it slab will make it big later we will you will erase this uh, this one, we want to get only the uh, description. Yeah, slab in stairs at 10th floor slab block B. Damn, that's enough. All right. Okay. And then, so you wrote there. Then you have concrete grade, so slab in your mixed design, you can find it. Concrete grade of the slab is uh, let's say C48, C right? That's our uh, mixed design for us, the slab C48, all right? So right there c48 and then minimum compressive strength after 28 is 40 also Just simply write 48 center and uh, zone 